Well, I got coronavirus, so it looks like I'm going to be stuck at home for a while. Go ahead and ask away. Hopefully early next year. Can't freaking wait. I really want to do one of those arena shows. <laughs> You're absolutely right. That's me and this brain frog. 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 Uh, this going on. Not clear. <laughs> but both seem to work a little bit to help with uh, symptoms. It's one of those days you never forget. I remember I was getting ready to go to school. It was my second year of college. It was a Tuesday morning. And uh, my mom showed me uh, what was going on on the news. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Ivermectin is a, a dewormer for animals and chloroquine is for fish. But they're both kind of based around quinine, which is the active part of the whole thing. Um, I hear that it helps. Uh, I haven't personally tried it. Hard to tell, man. I was out of town last weekend, traveling, you know, on an airplane. And then uh, I've had a couple friends that have been sick lately. One of them turned out to have corona. So just one of those things. I'm already feeling better, so thank you very much. Nope, not even a little bit. I think uh, a lot of things come with a mindset. And if you have a strong enough mindset, you can overcome everything. This may sound kind of strange, but honestly, I'm kind of grateful I got it. I wanted to experience coronavirus. I wanted to see what it was all about. And, uh, you know, hey, now I got it firsthand. To add to that, I'm extremely grateful that my body is strong and my mindset is very strong and very healthy. I think that's probably why I'm getting over it so fast. <laughs> when there are skills that are actually worth showing. I was actually training with a guy that uh, I did a powerlifting meet with, and we both bombed out of that meet, didn't have a good time. I had already trained bodybuilding and done a couple shows before that and wasn't really impressed with it. So so I remember my buddy saying he wanted to do a strongman contest. And I was like, what, are you crazy? Like those guys on TV? You don't will never be that strong. Nevertheless, he found Texas' strongest man. And being his training partner, I was going to go with him and help, of course. So we got up there. He was signing in. And the promoter looks at me and says, hey, man, why don't you sign up? And I said, you know what? I'm here. What the hell? I'll give it a shot. I had more fun at that contest than I'd ever had in my entire life leading up to that point. I dreamt of the events every night for six months straight afterward. I was obsessed. Honestly, I like training outside in the heat. So outside in the parking lot at American Iron Gym where we do our strongman events, that's one of my favorite places to train. I love the Atlas Stones. I've always loved the Atlas Stones. But I also love kind of lighter speed event medleys. Something where you got to be really quick, really athletic. I mean, you get a little carryover because the first three quarters of the movement are going to be the same, but... If I'm trying to load to a high platform, I don't take the stone to my shoulder first. So I just try and pop it up as fast as I can, catch it, and then press it on. Hey, thanks, man. I really appreciate you saying that. But the mentality is pretty easy to have, man. You just got to do it every day. Wake up, say, what am I grateful for today? And then remember that when things inevitably go south as they do during the day. Looks like I'm going to be doing Champions League in... Uh, Romania beginning of October and then the Champions League finals beginning of November. Well, I'm missing half a peck now, but I did 506 years ago um, on bench. Squat, my best was uh, 715 for a pretty easy four while getting prepped for World's Strongest Man and an 880 deadlift. I want to squat 800 sometime over the next few months and uh, I think that my top end deadlift is really somewhere in the 925 range. It's just the number that comes to mind. Sorry, pal. I've never really watched Pokemon. Um, Squirtle. <laughs> it's the only thing that comes to mind. You know, I don't know enough about this to really comment. Um, I know guys get heated up. But for the most part, strong men are some of the most professional people I've ever seen. So I really have to see both sides of this. This is an important question. One, I want to show my son 
what's possible in life. And I want to make sure that he knows his father loves him and that he's looking for him. And that all that I do, I do with him in mind. And second, I do what I do to show everybody who's been knocked down and kicked while they were down there that they don't have to stay down. They can get back up and they can make something out of their life. You don't have to give up just because you've screwed up. A couple of the obvious things. you got to squeeze harder. you get your hands under it more. Strengthen your forearms. Maybe do some uh, stone picks and hold, you know, five or six inches off the ground. Practice that motion. And what kind of tacky are you using? Check out Cerberus grade three and four tacky. Those have been working really well for me. You go on their website, cerberus-strength.us, and use my code, TXSTONEMAN, all one word. Get a discount. Well, I thank you. But I think the combination of, you know, healthy lifestyle and, and a few of the supplements that I've taken, getting some sunlight, really paying off. One of those supplements is Vaso Blitz from Bill Fast Formula. Check it out at BillFastFormula.com. Or you follow the link in my bio. Use my code TXSTONEMAN. Get a discount, like 15% off. Their supplements are awesome. Well, hello, Serbia. Thanks for writing in. Uh, only when you've suffered enough. Yeah, the dude is legit. But if you're looking for strongman coaching or anything like that, you can hit me up also. You know, I can't really speak for others on that matter. But for me, I do push the supplements that I actually use. And Bill Fast Formula makes good shit. I really like it. Just to elaborate on that, Vaso Blitz or Blitz 3D or even the full Blitz. Uh, Vaso Blitz is non-stimulant, uh, but they're all pre-workouts that I love and use on a regular basis. Use my code TXSTONEMAN. You get a discount. Well, thank you for that. That's, that's pretty cool to hear. Uh, the two people I can think of that I would really love to see compete again are Misha Kuklaev and Derek Poundstone. I'm only doing one-on-one -on -one in-person training sessions right now if I am at a seminar. But if you come to Reno, you come train with us on a Sunday morning, 10 or, 10 or 11 o'clock at the American Iron Gym. Man, I could talk about Dave Austin all day. Smart, really strong, really good guy probably one of the reasons I became the best at Stones because his name was thrown out as the best a lot and I put his name on my platforms and vowed to destroy it. I am. I'll be there next weekend judging the contest on Saturday and then doing live one-on-one -on -one in-person training sessions on Sunday. So if anybody's interested, hit me up. DM. I'm going to have to give multiple answers to this one. Uh, John Paul Sigmerson for his charisma, his athleticism. Kaz Meyer for the pure intensity. I'd love to feel that. And then Magnus for Magnuson because I'd love to see how that dude's mind works. Now, on the female side of things, I would love to go head-to-head -head with Annette Florchek, Jill Mills, and Rhiannon Lovelace. That little chick is freaking strong. To be totally honest, I was in an airport or on an airplane throughout my entire 40th birthday. But... A couple days before that, I kicked ass and won a contest, and then I came home to all kinds of good shit that my girlfriend got me. <laughs> you know what? That's probably something I'll look back at in a few years and kind of realize the magnitude of it. it it's kind of hit a little bit, but I still have a lot of goals, a lot of boxes unchecked that I need to fill. I mean, with a barbell, you've got an overhand grip, press pretty simple. With a log, you got a neutral grip, and uh, the center of its gravity is out away from you a little bit more, so it's a little tougher. But for some people, it's better for their... I think so far the coronavirus hasn't done too much to my body, but my sense of taste seems to be de decreased just a little bit. I was just trying to enjoy some tacos, and the salsa wasn't really kicking my ass. I am. Y'all did a great job with it last year. I'm excited to see what you do with it this year. Like an overall governing sanctioning board? I don't really give a shit about that, man. I think all the different federations create competition with one another and make it more fun for the athletes. What there should be is somebody that is keeping track of all the athletes and their accomplishments. <laughs> I can't repeat these uh, publicly.
<laughs> While it would be ideal to live in a Star Trek universe where everybody has a purpose to fulfill, I gotta say it'd be really awesome to fight somebody with a lightsaber. You know, I'm only a couple days in and I'm already feeling a whole lot better. And I've got to say, there's definitely a few things that have helped me. My lifestyle being one of them. Lifestyle is probably key. Healthy living, healthy eating. After the healthy living is my Bill Fast Formula nitric oxide potentiators. My vitamin D3. My uh, having the vaccine. I think that really cuts it all short. Gives my body a little... Anyways, I think... All those factors together gave me a real head start. But I think mindset played a key role. Because when I would start to feel really bad, I'd ask myself, where is it I'm actually feeling bad? Do I need to feel that bad? And I would start to notice. I'd start to notice that my body and the pain would decrease. And uh, it was kind of a weird sensation. You know, I, it didn't go away completely for sure. But I would notice that I would not feel as bad when I told myself I don't really need to feel <laughs> not yet that would be my descent into hell staring the devil in the face telling him I wasn't ready to give up yet clawing my way all the way back to the top it's an easy one just DM me or follow the link in my bio and uh, hit me up on my website